All right, I was going to record something else next for Advent of NeoVim, but I'm so tired of manually moving around in the file tree here as we're looking to get to new files. So it's finally time to sort of, in a way, I get it. I get it. It's a bit of self promo, blah, blah, blah. I know you're going to roast me in the comments. Wow, TJ just doing this whole series to make a video about his thing he made. Okay, I get it. All right, but we're going to do telescope. Okay, you, there's other fuzzy finders. You can use FZF. It's great. You can use a bunch of other ones. That's fine. I'm going to show you how to install telescope, set up a few basics. And then tomorrow's advent of NeoVim, I'll show you a fun, a fun one that's a bit more advanced to give you an idea of where you can take telescope if you want to. So uh, first things first. First, we go to Telescope NVIM here, uh, and we need to install it. You go to the instructions for Lazy NVIM. You can just yoink this. We're going to go ahead and go to Lua, our config plugins, and we'll make a telescope.lua. We'll paste this in. We'll return this here, and we'll do this. And <laughs> beautiful. We've got auto formatting working for us now, which is great. Uh, the thing is, it, it mentions this in here is, hey, you should probably install telescope fzf native so we're gonna go ahead and install this as well this just makes telescope search faster so that's what it does uh and it's pretty good so i would use that now we're gonna want to um configure this and we'll just go ahead and uh do nothing here for right now we'll just say telescope we need to reinstall this and then we'll we'll go through a few options okay so we close it we open it it says we're installing everything great uh now we could try telescope and let's just go find files and sure enough, oh, finally. And if we uh, zoom this bad boy out a little bit, uh, you know, because when we're super zoomed in, we can't see it super well. We've got these and I can finally just start typing telescope and press enter. And now we're here. Okay, so that's really nice. Um, so what do we want to do here? Well, let's get a few key maps going uh, to be able to find stuff really easily. So the first one that I want to do is um, I want to be able to really quickly uh, search all the files in my current directory. So that's going to look something like this. Most of these you're going to see along this line, telescope dot built in, and then we'll do find files. And we'll just call it like this. If we execute this with space X, uh, you'll see that we're searching inside of here. We can start typing telescope. Doesn't matter that we spell it wrong. We press enter. We'll go to that file. Okay. But we don't want to just like execute it like this obviously we need to put it in a key map so vim key map set for me i have all of mine on like space and then f for find and then this one you could do like f f for find files i have d for directory and then uh in this case actually we can just pass this as a function reference like this so if we execute this line and then do space fd now we're searching here so that's pretty cool. Um, one trick that I really like to do along these lines is I like doing, I have mine for edit NeoVim. We can turn this into a function here like this, and you can configure this by doing current working directory, CWD, and we can set something like this, Vim FN standard path, whoops. And this should be uh, config, I believe. Is that right? Uh, echo standard path config. Yeah, nice. So that'll send you to your config directory. So now if you um, execute uh, this right here, then anytime I press space EN, no matter what directory I'm in, it will search my NeoVim config file. So this makes it super easy. And this is part of the reason I alluded to this earlier in the series that I really like having each of the config items be separate files. Because if I want to change anything with LSP, I just do this and boom. I'm in the LSP section, right? So it's really easy to just move between these back and forth like this each time. Uh, so I'm a pretty big fan of that idea. There's a bunch of other things that we can actually do with telescope. Um, one way that you can explore that is you can run the telescope command and then built in, and it will just like tell you all of the things that we have. So if you're wondering like what Git things are in here or what like LSP things. You can actually just check out all of those and see what they are. And then you would call these things from uh, inside of here. So if we did something like um, local example is high, oops, is high like this, right? And then we said, you know, like print example and if example, then print uh, wow. Uh, and then like example, equals yup something like this okay if we went back to our telescope built-in oops not buffers uh built-ins 
and then we did references here for LSB references. Uh, you'll see it shows me each of the places that these references happened. And if we were zoomed out a little bit more enough to have the preview, it'll show you each of the previews as well. So that I think is like pretty nice and that's pretty cool. Um, I do wanna show just really briefly uh, some of the basic configuration that you can do and start playing around with for telescope. Um, and so, uh, oh, and if something's not working, once again, you should just run check health. You can run check health telescope like this and it will tell you maybe you're missing some external dependencies or some other stuff not installed. So that's pretty good. So how do we actually set this up? Uh, it basically all revolves as usual kind of around this idea of telescope setup. So we'll put this here um, and then we'll set that up. We, we're, and then let's start putting a few things inside of here. There's like default mappings that you can do. You can set some custom pickers for yourself and extensions. I'm going to leave that for a little bit later. Um, also, just just read through here. Control N and Control P to move up and down. Enter to select. There's a ton of uh, custom options and actions here. Uh, but the thing that I wanted to show is how you can do themes. Uh, themes are pretty cool. They're sort of like built in uh, different ways to display the results. I sometimes use different themes for different pickers. Uh, but there's there's a couple of cool aspects that you can do with them um and, and i'll just show really quick uh the ones that i want to do one that i think is pretty nice and probably sort of like a little underrated here a little underrated is that we can do uh get ivy i like ivy so there's two basic ways that we can uh use this the first one is the strategy of passing the defaults as the option by passing uh themes so let's go ahead and do this for uh for this here where we can say something like uh, local ops is this and this is the git drop down and then we could say something like current working directory is vim fn standard path if you wondered hey tj how did you just complete that? Control X, Control L completes the current line. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. So now if we um, do this, oh, did I just do drop down? Oh yeah, well drop down, this is what drop down looks like. So that's pretty cool, right? Because now the preview's on top and then you have some of the options here. Um, but the one that I meant to do is not drop down, but actually get Ivy. That's the one that I wanted to show here. And uh, if we do it now, it kind of pops up from the bottom and takes up the whole width. So I think that this one's pretty nice, inspired by Emacs, believe it or not. Sometimes they have a few good a uh, few good ideas that we uh, can borrow. Uh, but then you've got like sort of this one that pops up from the bottom. And I think this one is nice uh, and it doesn't feel so like jarring to have it pop into your face. I feel like kind of nice that it draws it up from the bottom. And then it does exactly the same stuff that you you know would expect. You can press LSP, you can press telescope and you're back. So, so that's one thing you could do. So you can do that for each picker, but you could also do in this style, you can set the defaults here uh, by doing theme. So if you go to this and you say like pickers like this, and then let's say we wanna change uh, find files, right? And then we can do theme is Ivy, right? Just like, uh, just like we've got here. Then I can uh, remove this and we'll go back to the setting that we had before like this, and we won't do that. Okay, and if we, we're gonna have to execute all of that, whoops, not, not like that, GV to do the last selection, space X to run all of that. Now when I do space EN, I'm still gonna get the Ivy thing. And also when I do space FD, I'm also going to get the Ivy. So you can actually sort these things like cascade down. You can sort of set defaults for everything, then defaults for certain pickers, and then you can even do it for a particular execution by changing the options. So I think that that's sort of like, it's pretty nice. Uh, I'm, I'm a pretty big fan of how that's set up, uh, maybe unsurprisingly, because that was one of the things that uh, I spent a lot of time working on when I was making a telescope. But that's basically everything um, for this for this episode. I just wanted to show you how we can get telescope, how you can start doing some basic configuration. Um, one thing that you might not know is if you're in uh, in insert mode here, you can press Control slash, and it will actually show you all of the like insert mode key maps that you have, so that you can figure out um, how to use telescope if you don't know what's going on. And of course, probably my favorite one which we should definitely have here is space FH here. And this is um, help tags. That's what I have. So this is find help. That's what I have. So space FH, telescope, 
themes whoops telescope themes like this right so it's super nice because then you can uh you get this automatic like fuzzy finding for the help and all this other stuff so that's one that i would definitely do uh because it's really easy then to start looking for things like oh we want to do lsp config or we wanted to do like completion or you wanted ins completion right all of those and you press enter you go right to that help thing this one i use all the time would definitely recommend doing so that's the basics we're gonna come back to some other stuff for telescope probably tomorrow i think uh because i've got a fun one that i can show you so anyways that's it for this episode hopefully you're enjoying advent of neo then you know leave a like leave a comment let me know Bye bye